Hi everyone, here we study the tensor fold using, using an example of a supratubal cholesteatoma. This 11 year old child presented with a right conductive hearing loss and a lesion noted in the antra superior aspect of the tympanic membrane with some extension posteroinferiorly. On axial CT scan, the lesion can be seen abutting the tensor tendon and over the region of the geniculate ganglion. And on the coronal images from anterior to posterior, it can be seen next to the snake eyes just here. The tympanic segment of the facial nerve was first described endoscopically by Professor Marchioni in 2011, and here we're studying the precochleriform segment. Lyon co-authors in 2018 further subdivided the tensor fold into types A, B, and C, and here we'll study a type B with the anterior epitympanic space above and the supratubal recess below. Here we're lifting up a tympanomiatal flap, right ear, quarter tympani seen here with disease over the stapes and over the round window. The surgery begins by removing the free cholesteatoma of the stapedius tendon and incodostapedial joint and the IS joint is divided using a joint knife and the incus removed. The quarter will be sacrificed in this case as the disease is abutting the quarter in the supratubal area. Now we get a good view of the lateral semicircular canal, head of malleus, corda, and the tensor fold seen right here. The malleus hep nipper is used to remove the head of the malleus, and then to get slightly better access to the superior aspect of the tensor fold, an underwater atacotomy is performed to allow instrument access superiorly to the tensor fold. Once again, the disease is clear above the tensor fold, but the supratubal recess has the bulk of the disease in this example. So we're dividing the tensor tendon here, and the tensor fold can see, be seen above with the dehiscent facial nerve. And various instruments are used to clear the supratubal recess, including short, medium, and long Thomason instruments. And a round knife was used in front of the tensor tendon to clear the disease. The genetic ganglion is being identified with the facial nerve stimulator and here the example of using the small round knife in front of the bony aspect of the cochleariform process. Instruments progressively are used with the medium Thomason here being used to confidently clear the disease off the middle cranial fossa and around the geniculate ganglion region just here. Finally, an endoscopic curette is being used to clear the lateral aspect of the protympanum where the disease was residing and a 45 degree long angled cups used to remove the last attachment to the protympanum. After removal, a 440, here we can see the clear supratubal recess and subtensor recess. The area was then treated with laser using the true blue laser to try and reduce residual rates and here with a small amount of gel foam protecting the facial nerve and finally a view here with the repair with composite cartilage and perichondrium. So in summary the tympanic segment of the facial nerve was first described over 10 years ago by Marchioni and we looked at an example of the precochleriform segment here and Lai and co-authors in 2018 subdivided the region and we're looking at a type B tensor fold in this example. Thanks very much for watching.